This is what I cooked and ate on Christmas Day, which is always an interesting day of food in our family, and I was in charge of dinner this year. Let's go. The day starts at 7.35 a.m., which is when I woke up and started to read from the Rhythm of War before promptly falling back to sleep for about another hour. At 8.45 a.m., it's time for a 10-minute yoga flow, and that's going to conclude my physical activity for the rest of the day. So in my family, we typically do a big brunch after presents, so I started to gather some of my items for my contribution, lemon ricotta pancakes, so they'll be quicker to make later on. Next, we sat around the fire, watched my brother's dog enjoy his first present, a pig mandible. Then I decided to make an Americano to sip on. My brother Pete came bearing some Lifesavers gummies, so that was officially the first thing I ate at around 11.15 this morning. At 11.30 a.m., it was time for some presents. Scully got a smoked ham hock, then we did stockings, which in my family always have some citrus on the bottom. We opened some presents, which I love me some practical gifts, and anyone else think it's way more fun to give gifts instead of receive them as you get older? After some presents, it was time to get brunch ready. So for my lemon ricotta cakes, I first separated some eggs and then whipped the whites into stiff peaks. Now, I'm eyeballing all of this, but for the wet ingredients, we have about two egg yolks, then I poured in some buttermilk, a couple of big dollops of ricotta, melted butter, a capful of vanilla, a dash of ginger, and some nutmeg before whipping that together. Next, I poured the wet ingredients into the dry pancake mix that I prepped earlier, and also realized that I definitely needed more wet ingredients. Lastly, I added a ton of lemon zest, you don't want to skimp here, and then fold in the egg whites right before you cook them. Now at the stove, my brother was working on some crab cakes and my dad had the pastrami hash going, but to cook these, I'm just going to place them on the grease griddle, and I swear the second or third batch of pancakes always browns more evenly than the first one. I first a bunch of to-go pierogies too. Oh. Can I have a tall stack, please? And finally, at around 1 p.m., we have brunch. Got some avocado smash for toast, the pancakes, poached eggs, the pastrami hash, crab cakes with some remoulade, and we have a very satisfying and hefty first meal of Christmas Day. After eating, it was time to slip into a lazy afternoon. So first, I dumped some footage with a very short visit from Scully. Then we turned on Claws on Netflix, and everyone promptly took a nap while watching. At 3.30 p.m., I had a little kombucha pick-me-up, and it was time to start prepping some stuff for dinner later that night. Now, we never have set specific dishes for Christmas dinner, but I was in charge this year, and I wanted to make a bunch of Indian food, so I picked up some recipes from Adore Jaffrey's book that I tweaked along the way. This meant prepping a lot of garlic and ginger paste, as well as busting out a wide variety of spices and having a sauce or two like this cilantro yogurt sauce. So the centerpiece of the meal was the kofta or Indian meatballs. And for these, I used a couple of pounds of ground lamb, added some salt, ground cumin, garam masala, ground coriander, and a mix of garlic, ginger, and scallion before mixing that all together and forming those into some nice little meatballs. personal email from someone. The kofta were seared off in the pan just to brown the exterior since I'm gonna finish cooking them in the sauce. After toasting some whole spices and removing them, I toss in a bunch of diced onion, some garlic ginger paste, and mix that up a bit before tossing in some coriander, ground cumin, and a bunch of turmeric. Now to build the sauce, I added some tomatoes and sauteed that down before adding some heavy cream. Then the meatballs go back in there and when stirred up, and I also added some water to let those simmer for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we prep the rest of the dishes, such as some puffed up roti and the different sauces. And the final dinner, we had some slaw prepared by my mom. Then we had crispy rice from my brother, carrots and peas with ginger, our kofta, the fresh roti, dry potatoes with spices, our cilantro sauce, and the sweet tomato chutney. All in all, this was a very delicious and satisfying meal with some great company. Hope you guys enjoyed and had a happy holiday.